Hey YouTube, Joseph Vollmer here again. And today I'm out in the driveway, I'm working on my new idea 403 hay rake. Um, here's the tag on it actually. It is, as you can see, a new idea 403. Uh, it still has a serial number and everything on it. Um, I bought this about a year ago and it is, let me back out here, it is a four bar hay rake. So it actually works pretty well. Um, we've done two cuttings with it so far a couple different places but as you can see here the uh, belt has seen some better days now this was the belt that i had on it when i got it and from what i understand from talking to people these belts some people see these belts last 20 years or more so i have no clue how old the belt is i don't know when it was last replaced so today i'm going to go ahead and replace it now i don't have a manual for this and i've looked and I've looked trying to figure out the best and easiest way to replace it uh, all my drive mechanism is over here on this side right down there uh, you actually lift that lever up and it slides that pulley over into the cam set that runs on the axle off the two wheels now this is your main drive wheel I think that one just coasts I don't think that one actually drives with that one but what I'm gonna do I already took that bolt right down there out there's one bolt that holds it on I took it out I'm going to take the belt around that tire, pull those two pieces apart, pull this piece and the axle apart just enough to slide the belt through so I can slide it across to that pulley. And then I'll run it up and around. And what I'm going to have to do, I think, is take these four bolts out and then there's a slot right down there. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a slot right there. That whole axle assembly should slide out and hopefully give me enough room once it's down i should have hopefully enough slack in the belt to slide the belt over and then i can get it on the pulley later but at least get it over the axle and then i'll go from there now um just so you guys know this is not a standard v belt it is a 7 8 i believe it's called a c belt but it's actually let's see six sided if that makes sense it's not perfectly round but it's almost like a double v so um and this is i actually talked to my local new idea dealer and the goofy guy down at the dealership gave me um let me see if i can fold this over i don't really want you to see my address but the, the guy actually gave me the um the size the size and the the length and the part number and then i used the part number to go on to um i think i ordered this off ebay from D, D power and drive belt and here is that is their part number is a cc 136 belt it is seven eighths by 142.4 inches on center and i well, it weighs 2.88 pounds, or the shipping weight was 2.88 pounds, and I think I paid 68 bucks for it. Through New Idea, through a local dealership, they wanted 150 for that belt, and I was not about to give 150 bucks for this belt. So, uh, but yeah, and the markings on the belt, here we go, CC 136, 0418, um and let's see heat and roll resistance dnd power drive okay so <clears throat> i don't see any other markings on it other than that but i'm going to start working on installing this and basically i'm going to take i'm going to try and separate those slide the belt through jack the whole thing up get it under the tire and i will bring you back here and there as we go Okay guys, I don't know if you caught all that on time lapse or not yet. I just got the new belt kind of halfway routed around here. I had to take all of these cups for the time bars off and let them drop. That way I could get 
the disc here that holds them all in place and has the belt pulley on it that way I could drop it out the bottom because I could not get it to come out the bottom with the bearing cups in place or with the uh, tine bars in place so I'm gonna sit you back on time-lapse now and I'm gonna get it back together um, get it back together get the belt routed as you can see right there hanging down is the belt tensioner so I have to run it back over to the eyelet right there where it goes and then use my big inch and seven eighths wrench down here to tighten that belt up once I get it put back on so anyway I'm gonna get back to it I'm gonna sit you back on time lapse and we'll be back in a minute <laughs> Okay guys, so got it on, got all the time bars back in place, everything's tight. Now what you have to keep in mind is right here, the inner pulley right here goes runs down into the bottom of the drive hub and then it comes off the top, comes back around that one to the bottom of this drive hub so that it all drives the correct direction. The first time I put the belt on, I didn't have that quarter twist in it and I would have actually been running the time bars in reverse going forward and if you do that it'll actually jump off that pulley as the belt comes around so guys that's all there is to it um, I actually at 142 inches this belt is in such good shape that is actually all the way in and I still had to do some prying and beating to get it down and get that pin in but we got that in so guys, um, let me walk in here where you can, where I got some light. Anyhow, hopefully you can see me a little better. Uh, do me a favor, please rate the video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, do me a favor if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, click the little notification bell down in the bottom corner. That way you will get notifications on any of my upcoming videos as I post them. And uh, if you have any questions about this new idea 403 rake, um, Please drop your questions in the comment section. I'll try and answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, for what I, I gave less than 300 bucks for this rake. So it's been a good rake. Um, minor maintenance here and there. I've got a few time bar, the time bar bearings that I'm probably gonna have to replace. Uh, when I do, I will get some video of that. So you guys can see it. So until the next one guys, don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty. You might just have a little bit of fun. We'll see you later.